up guys, uh, Heat King here bringing you a new update video regarding some Resident Evil news on the uh, Resident Evil movie and Netflix show. Yeah, that kind of news. Before I begin, of course, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's go into these supposed rumors, okay? So yeah, a few. I think it was. I think it was early this year. It might have even been late last year, where there was a rumor that there was a new Resident Evil movie being made. But apparently, there's now a new rumor that says, "Oh yeah, the movie's still happening, but uh, there's also a new Netflix show going on," which is crazy to me because uh, the Netflix show live action that we got was a flop, and yet they're doing another one. And both of these shows are going to be prequels, sort of ish. Let me just go through it, yeah? We'll, we'll start now, we'll read through it. So, Greek uh, Geek Vibes Nation, new Resident Evil movie and Netflix in development and Constantine film. So I'm, so I'm assuming both this company is responsible for both of them. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to talk about the movie stuff first. Movie. Production is taking place in Canada until December. Cast announcement in October. $30 million production. Prequel to Welcome to Ra Raccoon City. Story is based on Resident Evil Zero and will focus on Billy Cone. Ada Wong will be in the movie. It will be a fateful adaptation. Release in 2025. Okay, so let's go through these pointers for this for the movie first, very quickly. Um, so it's filming now, and it's gonna it's gonna film until December, and we'll get a cast announcement in October, apparently. So not long to go, which kind of makes me wonder if maybe we're going to get a Capcom showcase that's going to talk about the film and the, you know, the uh, other Resident Evil video games. Uh, the fact they're doing a Resident Evil movie based on Zero uh, kind of lines up with the, with the theory that, that Capcom kind of wants to release a Resident Evil remake at the same time as this film. So they were working on the remake and then the film developers, or maybe maybe they all came together and were like, hey, we want to make a we want to make a Resident Evil Zero film. And then Capcom's like, let's make a remake of the video game then. And that way we can both release them at the same time or, or close to each other or something like that. You know, it's similar to what happened with Prince of Persia. I don't, go, I don't know if you guys remember when the Prince of Persia movie was made. There was a video game that was sort of released alongside it. But the video game was basically a sequel to Sands of Time and a prequel to Warrior Within. So it was set between those two games. Maybe it's, maybe it's a similar situation here. Uh, 30 million production. Let me, let me, let me see how much uh, the uh, other Resident Evil film was. Uh, maybe that'll give us an idea of how expensive this one will be. Uh, budget. Welcome to Raccoon City says apparently it was 25 million. 25 million. The original budget was 40 million, but was cut down to 25 million. So a lot of a lot was cut. There's a lot of stuff in the original script that didn't make the final cut, unfortunately. So this is only about 5 million more, apparently. Uh, uh, prequel to Welcome to Raccoon City. I was kind of see the the the, the, the rumor I heard. I don't know if it was again if it was last year or early this year was that Paul W S Anderson was coming back to produce uh, uh, a a series of RE films that would be accurate to the games, and they would start with RE Zero, and it would be called Umbrella Chronicles. And it would focus on Billy and Rebecca. This is saying it's going to focus on Billy. Rebecca, I'm assuming, is still going to be one of the main characters. Ada's going to be in it. If this is a prequel to Welcome to Raccoon City, it kind of makes sense. Because they want to tie it into the uh, Welcome to Raccoon City movie. So yeah, I'm assuming Ada would appear. Like, that's probably the one character you can sort of bring in to tie it to that. Um, I'm assuming Lily Gio Lily whatever is going to play it. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to bring her back. She was also the voice actor for Ada in... Resident Evil 4 remake, and she was a terrible voice actor. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, I didn't like her voice acting. It was a little bit better, a little bit in the Separate Ways DLC, but uh, the interview she did, where she was, where she was basically saying that no one liked her because they were racist, was just, just basically put me off her. Uh, and she was just throwing all the other actresses, you know, the actual actresses who, who. Who did the voiceover for the characters who were, you know, she acted like she was the first Asian person to voice Ada. And it's like, no, there were others. There were others. The Japanese dub, the Chinese dubs before that. So, you know, it, it just felt very insulting. So, yeah, I, I don't like her. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't really care about her. And I, I don't care. Uh, but, yeah, it says fateful adaptation. I'll have to see it to believe it. But, uh I mean, on one hand, it's kind of a good idea. They're going back to the start. But on the other hand, it makes me question what the hell they're going to do going forward then. They're doing a prequel to Welcome to Raccoon City, which was not really a good film. The idea was 
was fine, I guess, but I feel like it would have worked better if they had done RE0, RE1 as that first film. And then the sequel would have should have been RE2, RE3 combined. Um, or, better yet, a Welcome to Raccoon City should have been a TV show instead. Uh, that could have worked. But no, this, this is what they're doing. So, I don't know what's going on. Especially because they said that originally they wanted RE4 to be the sequel, but it's like... Well, just do Cold Veronica for crying out loud. Like, have that be the sequel next. But yeah, that's the film. Um, don't know what to think. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But uh, I'm not really excited for this. Uh, the Resident Evil adaptations have never been good, so... Moving on to the Netflix stuff. This is... This is killer stuff. Like, like I, I imagine the film is, is going to be better than this. Anything is better than a live, better than a live action Netflix show. But the fact they're doing another one is just dumbfounding to me. So yeah, Netflix series, new standalone story. They never learn. A post-apocalyptic world ravaged by the T virus. Sophia Marcus, daughter of James Marcus, will be the protagonist. Will feature liquor, zombies, hunters, spiders, and chainsaw man. Opening episode will showcase origins of the global outbreak. No characters from the games will appear. Script is finished and approved. Filming is set for 2025. Six episodes in total. Jesus Christ, you'd think they would have learned their lesson the first time they did, uh, you know, the Netflix show. But no, they're just going right into, let's make another Netflix show. Let's make this another prequel. Let's make... It, it just sounds the same. It's like, oh yeah, we're going to have the first episode be like, it's going to show the outbreak, whatever, and we're going to focus on on Marcus again, sort of. Like, you know, first it was Wesker's daughters, now we're going to do Marcus's daughters. Let me, let me find out if, if 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 this is the same character. Let me find out if, if that's the name of the same character, because then, then it's very likely this is a prequel to that, maybe. I hope not, but I'm not holding my breath. Evelyn Marcus. Okay, so the one the one in the other Netflix show was called Evelyn Marcus. This one is called Sophia Marcus. Hey, guess what? James Marcus didn't have children. This is this is a concept they introduced in Resident Evil: The Final Chapter when they had James Marcus be revealed as the father of like the the Alice, the original Alice or something. So now now everyone now everyone's just going with this bullcrap now with what Anderson set up. It's like it's just ridiculous. The script is finished and approved. I I. I don't understand this. I really don't understand this. How can you write the script and be like, oh yeah, we're going to do this again. That's the second time it's going to work. You know, second time, you know. Like, if this flops again, I'm assuming they're going to do a third one. It's going to be like, third time's going to be the charm. It's like, you fucking idiots. Like, this is going to flop so hard in your f stupid faces. And there's more. There's more to the Netflix stuff. There's more. Let me let me read this. Uh, Geek Vibes Nation. Additional info on the rumored Resident Evil Netflix series. Jesus Christ. Geek Vibes Nation claims to have obtained additional information on the rumoured Resident Evil Netflix series. Starts recording in January next year in South Africa. Again, they're filming in South Africa. Sophia seeks revenge for her father's death and goes after antiviruses in Europe. Sophia discovers that her father was cloned and seeks revenge. Sophia also falls in love with Catherine, a Thai re re refuge. Oh yeah, because that's what we need. We, we need more woke progressive crap that doesn't, that doesn't make sense in a Resident Evil story. Uh, involved zombies use machine guns and rocket launchers. Okay, why not? Yeah, I mean, we, the Plagas, whatever. The Hunter will be introduced in a scene where the monstrous decapitates survivors in a camp. Sophia faces the monster with a shotgun. An, electric f uh, an electrifying fight between Sophia and a giant lion took place in one of the episodes, and she will face it with just a knife. I'm going to fight a lion with a knife, an infected lion with a knife. Why not? Why not? Because it's Resident Evil. Everyone uses the knife sometimes. Why not? Hey, see? See? We got Easter eggs. Yeah? You like that? You like your fucking Easter eggs where we just use the knife to fight it because they make a sequel series with a chase scene where... I don't know why it says sequel series here. A sequel series with a chase scene where Sophia Marcus is chased by three zombie dogs. A sea octopus monster with multiple tentacles appears in a submarine scene. Uh, there will be a scene with a flamethrower. Spiders are scary this time. There will be references to herbs and sprays from the games, and that's it. That's all the bullshit apparently for the for the Netflix series. I pff. they're doing literally the same goddamn thing that the uh, the previous uh, series did. They had all the same kind of monsters. It, it had it had the it had the liquors. It had the chainsaw man, a human if you will. It had zombies, obviously, and dogs. But now we got hunters and we got giant octopus instead of a giant crocodile. And spiders are back as well, and uh, and yeah, like oh god, and and it's a revenge storyline with. Why does it sound like The Last of Us Two, a little bit? Seriously, is it just me? Like, <laughs> this is so stupid. 
It's so stupid. I can't believe they're doing this again. They didn't learn their lesson the first time and they're doing it again. What the fuck is wrong with Netflix? Now, apparently, and this is another rumor. I don't know if it's true. Apparently, the reason Constantine Films, uh, you know, they have to basically make a, a Resident Evil movie every five years in order to keep the rights. And that's why we're getting these films. Like, that's why. And it makes no sense to me. It's like, what? Well, I get it. It earns the money. But at the same time, it's like, why do you want to keep the rights to something you keep fucking over? Like, unless you're ready to actually sit on your ass and give us a proper 100% adaptation, why the fuck do you even care about the rights then? Like, like how much money do you actually get from this? The last, the last Resident Evil movie was a flop. It was a flop, wasn't it? Uh, wait, let me see. Welcome to, Raccoon, uh, welcome to Raccoon City. Was it a flop? Was it a flop? The film grossed over 42 million worldwide and received mixed okay so it it made it made its budget back i guess and it made a bit so i don't i don't know i don't know what, what it is it's a flop though it would be considered a flop wouldn't it i i don't get it they don't show any respect to these game adaptations and and we keep getting this crap it just pisses me off at this point it's just annoying it's like why why do you keep treating us like it's just an insult to the fan base as a whole. Like, I get there are people who enjoy this. Don't get me wrong. I can enjoy this stuff. I did like the first Resident Evil film and the Resident Evil Apocalypse. But after Exti but all, you know, after that with Extinction and that, they just they just flip flopped and 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 the storylines were never consistent. Uh, they didn't bring characters back properly and the characters were inconsistent. They kept making up shit. And Alice was always the focus. I don't like that crap. Uh, like I'm all for an original story, but make it feel connected and consistent. And and it wasn't. And now more of this shit. I already hate watched through the Netflix, the, the original Netflix show. I have no intention of sitting down and hate watching through this. Like, I don't want to, like. It pisses me off, man. It pisses me off. But it is what it is. That's the news, guys. That's the news. Hope you like it. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.